My name is Dirk Dudek. I'm a dentist, as you probably are, but more importantly, I'm the managing director of the Clean and Plan Foundation. What would you do if you found metal particles of nickel, copper, tin or chromium in one of three tested implants? What would you do if your favorite implant system showed massive organic particles and you found out that your implant is contaminated with synthetic polymers? Well, I'll tell you what I did. I took a flight to Brisbane to get to the bottom of it. As a dentist, patients trust in my decision. I cannot turn a blind eye to the fact that many of my colleagues unknowingly may use implants of inferior quality for their patients. I found even hazardous substances on dental implants and actually I'm keen to know what we find on dental implants and if these particles have any um, effect on the human body. So uh, I think it's time to get some answers. So let's go in and ask one of the world renowned experts in toxicology. Professor Jack, we're here in um, Queensland University at PACE, um, one of the most um, renowned institutes for uh, toxicology, you might correct me, mm -hmm. and um, I came to, to your institute with um, some questions about the, um, let's say the consequences of contamination on dental implants. We spoke in the last hour a lot about the de in detail, but if we summarize our, um, our talks now, um, what do you think from your point of view, your academic point of view, um, do we have to be concerned about avoidable contaminants if it's either surfactant or uh, remnants of uh, laundry detergents like DBSA or silicones on dental implants? Yes. What do you think? Uh, gen generally speaking, um, all the above has got uh, some toxicity uh, problem. Um, the well-known metals, uh, everyone knows the cobalt and the nickel and uh, and uh, even aluminium at high doses is, is um, uh, not healthy, uh, but you do need quite a, quite a lot. Uh, I understand some implants got um, contamination with particular metals mm -hmm. uh, in um, a small particle. It like could be um, mm -hmm. um, nanoparticle. It could be microparticle form, and um, that involve a different scenario toxicology. Uh, because the local particle can cause a uh, local reaction, uh, whether it is in mixture or in single. Mm -hmm. So the toxicology is not well known, especially uh, with the uh, local environment, such as inside the mouth and in the bone. Mm -hmm. So that, that area uh, uh, needs to be um, a further study, in my opinion. Um, in terms of organic and inorganic together, we. We've done a bit of work on that, and uh, interaction is is haven't got a general rule whether it's the toxicity add together or synergistic mm -hmm. or otherwise. It's very much depending on the dose. Yes, at I understand. different doses, the different interaction. So again, in a small environment such as an uh, implant in people's um, uh, oral cavity, and that kind of work. Personally, I don't know a lot about, but but that need to be um, uh, well defined. Whether this the number of particle is important or the size of the particle is important, uh, besides of what elemental form is yeah, important, right? The, uh, uh, aluminium particle, titanium particle, even copper particles, right? So Tin found. and tungsten, that kind of thing. Sometimes uh, is found uh, on on the implant. Yeah. Georgia, yeah. So, so how much of that um, can can interact with your local environment, or also absorb in the bloodstream and carry to the target organ? Who knows? I don't know. Okay. Yeah. So that's the area that is uh, mm -hmm. you need to be looked at closely. 
I assume we're on the same page if we say if it's avoidable, we have uh, no problem and no question mark, right? Yeah, I, I would think so. <laughs> uh, so it's uh, early stages, you always tend to be on the cautious time, side, yeah. right? Yeah. The precautionary principle. So so you, you treat everything, have a potential harm, but given what concentration is produced that harm, that's the question you need to find. Right. So I haven't got that answer, unfortunately. It's, uh, it's an area that is uh, uh, potentially very interesting. Thank you for your interest. Thank you for your time. It was a great pleasure to see you here. You're welcome.